My name is John Hood. I have a small business called The Farm AV, and we're a technical sales organization and a big pile of audiovisual resellers and rental houses. I represent 21 different manufacturers, and each of those have a different kind of CRM. Some use SAP or Oracle or Salesforce, and so I have cursory experience with each one of those. And I can with absolute certainty tell you that Zoho is the most friendly and most accessible, aside from being inexpensive. We had uh, extensive CRM use over the years, and we decided at one point that we hated servers. We hate computers, but specifically servers, because servers break and servers stop working, and we wanted to find a way away from that. And we signed up with Google Apps, and on their website, through their, uh, they referred us to. A, there were a handful of different CRM platforms that we could look at, and Soho was the most responsive when we to our initial inquiries. Turns out it's because Zoho's awesome. I'm an early adopter, so as soon as we figured out how to work it, I launched it on my website, and away we went. And this was just in the normal course of business. We used the, the CRM for sales forecasting and, all the, and, and to track all of our activities. The way we do this is try to capture as much of the information numerically as we can, and Zoho customization allows us to reduce the number of steps it takes for the sales guys to capture the essence of what they did in any particular day. We generally tell our sales guys that we want you to use CRM for about 15 to 20 minutes a day maximum. We want them to spend their time interacting with customers and creating relationships. And with our previous CRM, it was two hours a day. So as far as an increase in productivity, it's sort of counterintuitive. The less we use Zoho, the more productive we are. And that was my goal. I want to have a CRM that just reads our mind and puts all the information in a database and gives us a nice searchable results. We're getting pretty darn close. And the integration of all, your, all the little services that Zoho has that we can put together to make these custom forms makes it easy. When I'm in a meeting with a customer and ask him some questions about projects that he's working on, I publish the results back out to him so that they can see that we're asking for reasons just for internal use and they can see what we're doing. That way it will shorten our visits the next time and be more efficient. Our relationship stays more efficient that way. They're very interested in sharing that information because we can help them win more jobs as well. We're on the wholesale side. I have seen so many failed uh, uh, integrations of your competitors over the years. I've seen a lot of people use Zoho as a stepping stone to get to somewhere else, but it, Zoho's clearly at the top of the food chain. A lot of these people end up coming back to it. I heard, I heard that comment today in one of the presentations. This is, the, this is as good as it gets with CRM. There's no reason to go elsewhere. So of course I would, I would send somebody else. If I was going to summarize my relationship with Zoho, it would be accessibility. It is the most accessible technical uh, uh, supplier that I've dealt with. So I can always get people on the telephone where the very first person I speak to is capable of answering my questions. So coming here and being able to interface face to face with the people that I talk to on the phone that may be not in this country is uh, uh, it's an awesome opportunity. And everybody's available and ready to deal with my questions head on. There's no, the, the, with Zoho, that was, there's no finger pointing. There's no buck passing, or, you know, it is everybody just deals with it right now. And then that, it, it, I'm not used to that. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable with it, but uh, we'll let you keep, you know, keep doing it that way.